As a part of our 3D program, the Canada Science and Technology Museums Corporation has shared a number of 3D models of World War I airplanes. You may already have a 3D modeling program that will allow you to explore aircraft camouflage with these files, but if you don't, we suggest Blender, a free-to-download modeling program. Today we're going to show you how you can use Blender to explore World War I plane camouflage. The first step is to go to the Blender homepage at blender.org. Then head to the download page and find the .msi file for your version of Windows. For this video, we'll be using the 64-bit version. Alternatively, you may use the .zip file provided on the same page. If you're using a different operating system, other options can be found below. To install Blender, run the .msi file, then follow the instructions in the installer. The actual installation process may take some time to complete. With Blender installed, download and unzip the 3D plane files and place them all in a single folder somewhere easy to find. The desktop is a great place for this. For this video, we'll be using the Sopwith triplane. Now it's time to open Blender and import the files. Go to File, then Open, then choose your 3D file folder and select one of the planes. Using the paint tool, you can now select a color from the color wheel to the left and apply it to the plane to create whatever pattern you'd like. You can also use the tint slider to adjust the brightness of the color wheel and the brush size selector to adjust how large your brush will be. You can also rotate, move, and zoom in on the model using your mouse. To find exact instructions for using Blender, take a look at the user manual under the support tab on blender.org. When you're done with your plane and want to save your changes, click on the menu in the lower left corner of the screen and select UV Image Editor. Once on this screen, click the Image button and select Save Image. Next, return to the 3D view. Then select File from the top menu and click Save. We hope you found this video informative and look forward to seeing what camouflage patterns you create.